Don't rub your eye. Okay. This side. Okay. And you were sweeping the shop and the bay doors are open, the wind come up. Don't rub your eye. Okay, can you have a seat for me, please? Yeah. Okay, if you give her something to put on it, she probably won't rub it. Okay. Rub her eye again. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I just went and washed my hands. So if you want to wear gloves, that's fine. I want you to um, wash your gloves, okay? Um, Al Dresser's nephew just felt lost his eye because if you have latex gloves, there's lots of powder on them. Powder is very abrasive to the eyes. So I don't like to wear gloves when I'm working with eyes. That's my choice. Um, but if you want to work with gloves, that's fine. Okay. You're going to need get all your stuff ready. You're going to need Q-tips, saline, eye cup, pen light. Okay. Get your stuff all ready. Okay. So your visual, you guys, airways open. Her breathing's normal. She's talking in full sentences. Color's good. Radial pulse is good. She says she got dirt in her eye. You didn't fall down or anything, right? You just got dirt in your eye? Yeah. Okay, both eyes, one eye, one eye? One eye. Good. Alrighty, awesome. So when they get dirt in their eyes, you guys, probably there's dirt all over her face. So you're going to have to remove that dirt on her face. Tamara, do you have any makeup on or um, contacts in or anything like that? Mascara. Mascara, okay. Mm -hmm. So let's just brush off any dirt that you might have around your face. If she has any mascara or anything like that, we only have saline. If it doesn't come off with saline, then um, it's probably not going to come off at all. So Tamara, can you just try and wipe it off for me, your mascara or your eye makeup? Didn't come off. Didn't come off? <laughs> all right, that's good. Okay, so these are your eye cups. You usually have a whole bunch at your workplace. Um, they might have a whole bunch of dirt in them. So we want to just flush it out. Make sure that it's nice and clean before you hold it to her eye. Okay, have you ever used an eye cup before, Tom? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to fill it half full. I want you to lean forward, press it against your eye. You've got a little piece of gauze there, so if it drips, you can pick it up. Okay, and I want you to look in all directions, right? It's no more than half full. Oh, wow. It's going to be cold. Okay, you're going to have a look. If you see something in there, you may choose to do it again. That is sweet. It takes but not really. Your eyes are swimming. Okay, let's do it again. Why do we want to know how she got it in her eye? Because if it came with any kind of force, it could be penetrating, right? So you want to ask her, like, what did, how did it happen? Is it sharp? Does it feel sharp? Okay, still in there, Tamara? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, Tamara, okay. take your upper lid and pull it over top of the bottom <laughs> one. Try that a couple times. It usually works. Okay, because your bottom lashes will catch it. Still there? Yeah. Try it again. Still there? Yeah. Okay, I want you to slouch for me. Okay, in the video, she comes at you like this. This is really threatening, right? Plus, if I trip, I'm going to poke her right in the eye. So, we would much prefer if you come from behind. Okay, her head's right on my stomach. I'm not going nowhere. I'm not going to poke her. A lot more comforting, okay? This light, you guys, is very strong. So, I'm going to make her look one way. And what I'm doing is I'm pushing it, and then it's going to put a light across her eye. If there's anything there, it's going to cast a shadow and you're going to be able to see it, okay? Make sure that your hands are anchored when you do that. Okay, Tamara, can you look towards your nose, please? Okay, okay give her a break in between. Okay, Tamara, can you look between her two toes? Okay. All right. Okay, I'm going to have you look straight at the light this time, okay? Right to your right. One more time. Okay, you're gonna look way up at me. Way <coughs> up here. Okay. Tamara, if this is twelve o'clock on a clock, this is three and this is nine, can you tell me whereabouts you feel that? Dirt? Uh, ten. About ten, so right about here somewhere. Yeah, ten on Right about there. Okay. Good enough. Okay, um now I know whereabouts it is. Tamara. 
Sorry. Can you read this? First aid record. Okay. Just assess their vision. Okay. Your vision isn't blurred by this dust or anything. Nope. Just like curiosity. Nope. Oh, would you do that if after you found out where it is? Because it might move, wouldn't it? No, I want to assess vision before I evert because I need a baseline, right? Because when I'm all done, if she tells me, oh, now my eyes are really, you know, foggy, blurry, whatever, I have nothing to base it on. Well, it was blurry before, right? So you always need a baseline before you evert so that if there's something after, it's probably a, res a result of what you've done. So you want to do it before and after. Make sense? Yeah. Okay. Okay, take your Q-tips. Do not put them in there because then you're going to contaminate it. Just wet them. Okay, most people don't like this done to themselves. Um, however, if you have something in your eye, it's the worst feeling ever. You're going to want to get it out. So to relax her so she's not like this, it's really hard when they're really, really tight. Just get her to relax. This is nice and moist. It's wet. Just relax, okay, just rub it, relax. Okay, think of your happy face. Mm -hmm. Taking all the mascara off your eyes. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. <coughs> <coughs> okay, relax. Okay, so what we're gonna do, you guys, is we're gonna pull on her eyelash and pull it towards her feet. That removes the suction, you'll hear, like that. It's just taking that suction off her eye, okay? And then we're gonna turn it over. So. So I don't grab the top and bottom lash. I'm just going to pull up on her eyelash like that and come closer. It's pretty hard for you guys to do this. You're all far away. You'll probably do this three, four times yeah. a week. Okay, so if I grab her eyelashes now, I'm going to grab the bottom and the top one. Okay, so... All I'm going to do is lift the top ones, okay, grab it, pull it towards her feet like this. Okay, now roll it over the top. Got it. Okay, Tam, I can see that piece touch. Done. Blink, blink, blink. That wasn't so difficult, boys. Got a bunch of wusses in there. Ah, dun, dun. Goodness. Okay, let's reflush. How does that feel, Tam? It's fixed, but it isn't broke. Okay. It's performing back surgery. Okay, good. How do you think those doctors got good at it, though? Mm, practice some practice. On me. Practice on every book. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> good. Okay, can you read this again? Practicing on dead people. First aid record. Yeah. First aid record. Up, good. <laughs> all righty. All right, so 12 steps. All right. You must know them all. This would be a good thing to put on a recipe card. You know those little recipe cards? If you want some, I'll give you guys some. But somebody will get this one on their exam, and they're going to have to do it. So you might as well get the